Kasanga, is that where the ball was dropped in your view in hindsight, that the agents weren't there? You know, notwithstanding the challenges that um, we might have had um, in the course of the electioneering day, you know, the fact does remain that even as Kenyans, we need to really question ourselves around these things. You know, why should there be a tampering of, um, of the election? You know, why are we playing around with our democracy and therefore the future of our country? You know, for me, that's where it stops and I associate myself with, I associate myself with the sentiments of the Right Honorable Raila. After presenting the petition, he did say, mm -hmm. we are seeing an attack on our democracy. Okay. We are seeing a very orchestrated, you know, interference with outcomes of our election, you know, from election to another election to consecutively. Yeah. And that is of great concern. And that is what we really need to question ourselves as Kenyans. And as you have seen, also the voter turnout mm -hmm. has been, you know, you know, dropping consecutively because Kenyans are increasingly losing faith in, in the electioneering, you know, process and procedure and it's losing meaning and this is what we need to be fighting yeah and whereas i think the last time i was here uh, before the election day you know we had lauded the ibc for you know seemingly being transparent in the manner in which they were doing their preparations and they seem to have been ticking all the right boxes and there seemed to be a lot of transparency in fact i said in another platform that even the media yourselves trevor you did a fantastic job in you know tracking everything that the IBC was doing for us Kenyans to be able to follow. Because, you know, we had said this time around, we don't want to see IBC bungle the election the way they did in 2017. Who wants to go back to a repeat election? And, you know, we were all keen to have this election go as smoothly as it is. But, you know, seeing the evidence that is now coming out at the petition, you can see a very choreographed, you know, very organized, you know, very organized tampering of the election of which you cannot dissociate IBC from. And you know, the complacency to allow people to come in and you know, affect the tallying and the outcome automatically. So I, I think for me, I associate myself with the fact that regardless of whatever weaknesses either camp may have had, why should there be tampering of the election? Why is it that there seems to be certain people somewhere, some powerful people somewhere, whether they are politicians or business people, who are very keen that we should not fight you know, corruption, that we always have to affect the outcome and thereby denying Kenyans their will and the people that they have chosen, thereby affecting democracy in the, you know, in the long run. The fact remains that the last few elections, you've had the minority choose leaders, which is not democracy where we say, majority must have their way really? and the minority have their say. So this is something we really need to interrogate as leaders as we go forward. And, you know, it's also disconcerting when you see, you know, one side of, uh, of, the, of the political camp trying to buy off another side and get majority numbers. This is the sort of thing we don't want to see as we go into, as the, as the next parliament, you know, begins to form. We want to see a robust parliament. We want to see, you know, each camp stay where you are, let us monitor you, let us see how you're going to deliver to Kenyans and see how the promises will be delivered and that sort of a thing. So I think that's my take. All right.